everybody, it's Joyce and Lena, and I am back here on the Frillcraft server, and you're probably thinking, Joyce and Lena, where's all your gear? Where are you at? What location is this? I, I don't recognize any of this. Neither do I. Uh, apparently, Frillioth is kicking it up, uh, his skill set, and he's got now a dedicated server. It's amazing, he's got a dedicated server. And so this is where you go, this is kind of the main area, and then from here, uh, we'll find out which servers we actually are whitelisted to. So whether it be the Frillcraft server um, for the for his Patreons, or whether it be the UHC, or uh, whatever. But yeah, I wanted to take a look around. Uh, I'm gonna be Snoopy before we go and do what we're supposed to do. Um, I think this looks fantastic, a great little hub. I don't know if he has future uses in mind or if it's just woohoo! Wow, that scared me. Launch pad. Phew. I think it's just nice, pretty buildings that don't lead to anywhere, but one day, who knows what he might get up to. Wouldn't that be cool to have this as a place where you access. Wah! Access mini games. Wah! Uh oh, down I go. Oh, no, it's glass under here. Phew. That's actually really fun. I want that in real Minecraft. Uh, yeah, so I wonder if like future mini games and stuff like that, this would be the hub for it. It looks fantastic. You knew I was going to say that, right? You knew? Oh, yeah. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to do this thing. Let's see, how does this work? I, I have a book. I wonder if I should read it. Oh, uh, there it is. Go shop at his store, folks. Uh, and there's the Discord. What's this say? Right click, server selector. <gasps> Look at that. Frillcraft, creative, Skyblock, Skywars. Oh my gosh. What's this last one? Enderbutt, click to fly. Oh, that might've been helpful a little bit now. Ah, let's join now. And yay, I'm allowed. I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Do I have my gear on? Look, I'm all geared up. It's been a while since I've been on here, in case you didn't realize that from the beginning. I see, I can hear we still have the uh, the folks that are our are, 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 are frequent visitors of slime. Going slime, 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 slime all over the place. Oh, there. Typort, you have a visitor. Oh, and now you have lots of visitors. They're multiplying. And this is the sad part. They're so cute. You almost hate to kill them. Except for that they've really annoyed me. Okay, now I've got ten more slimies. Ah, so I wanted to see what has changed. Because it's probably been three weeks at least. Oh yeah, this tells you something. Uh, they've already killed the ender. Ender dragon. Ooh, where does this lead? Oh, do I dare? I don't know if I dare. Yeah, click, 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 click. What's in here? Bamboo. I'm sure a lot of this is eagle at work. And this is probably Typort. Things from the ground. Okay. Stone, cobblestone, dirt. Netherrack, all sand type, gravel, granite, diorite, and andesite. Things from plants. Very interesting. Which, what was this one? Any sign? No. Ah, pumpkin. Oh, this is the farms. Pumpkins and melons. Terracotta. We're going to have lots of this, I'm sure. Oh, good times. Uh, oh, some of these are empty. Oh, start from the ground up. Yeah, we, we've got a little bit of terracotta. I think we could probably start a terracotta store if we wanted to. Uh, decorations. Ah. Just starting. Glass, whoops, and carpet. Hmm. More farms. We looked at those last time. More farms. I don't know why that's blocked off. Oh, ups and downs. This is how you get to the different levels, eh? It, work in progress, it looks like. Work in progress. Uh. Hey, it's like the Winchester Mystery House. Staircases that go to nowhere. Okay. Well. This, oh, we're in the bowels. Bowels of all the action. I can tell. I don't go click, 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 click. 
So I'm on a different level. Get on my level. Uh, oh, and stairway's back up. And here we go. Oh, and stairway's back up here. Oh, this goes up. We're starting out. Ah! I didn't do it! Yikes. Um. Let's not and say we didn't. We saw that earlier. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good look at what the base is, what's been going on. Other ways to access these. Oh, look at this. Excellent. Oh, and here's a tree farm. Okay, that's good to know. I'm definitely going to need some tree blocks. So it looks like this is going to be what we're building with, I assume. Look at this. Chorus fruit, spruce saplings, dark oak saplings. Excellent. Getting my bearings around here. Hopefully I won't get lost. And that's it. That's that. Ah. Something hidden behind here. Must be something hidden behind there. Oh, no. I want it in this one with the clickety clickities. Okay. And then this was our typical, oh, the map room. Uh, it looks like Typort's got some uh, grass growing. Some dirt going. I see. Oh, and this over here. So let's go check out what's going on. Is it daytime? It's nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. I would expect nothing less. Uh, eggs and a couple of cow heads. Some leather. Oh, oh! I don't know what to do with the honey blocks. I'm I'm not familiar. I haven't I haven't practiced. Uh, all the baddies are out there. Looks like that's where that stops. So this is all still the same. Kidoki. I don't think I want to go up there. Did he light up back here? Ah, there's an Enderman. Still one of your blocks. Let's see. So this is the wall. This did get lit up. Last time we were having a lot of fun. Oh, I wonder if they figured out. I don't remember how to get to the spawner space. Wasn't it through like here? Yeah, we put the double. I put the double torch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. a little bit of lag. Double torch in it here. And back in here. And no, it has not been made yet. So that might be a project for us to work on that. Um, I'm going to see. Is, has, is anyone on? I didn't even check. Nope, it's just me. It's just me. It's middle of the afternoon for me, which is nighttime. I would expect other people to be on, but, you know, surprise. They're probably playing sky blocks. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. And make a day. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I have to be careful of things dropping from uh, above. But let's come out here a little ways and take a look. And see what has been done. Blub, blub. Blub, blub. Is this tall enough for me to stand on? No, but... Oh! So this is the wall as it was before. And it comes over this way. come up here okay so this is the curve that we saw before but oh look at the dragon statue with all the gold good grief oh I like that that's the vines and then I wonder oh he's starting on his mountain it looks like one thing at a time right okay let's see let's come over this way because he was talking about building a way up to the top Back behind the waterfall. It looks like I see some stuff there. It's interesting since we're in the Badlands, just how everything looks. It's not green like you would think it would be. Everything is brown and dark and kind of dead, which I like. Oh, look, we have visitors. Visitors? Or did your visitor leave you 
And now we have a llama. Hi, llama. Ha. Too bad I can't ride you. You won't take me any place. Hey, let me off. There, wrong button. Okay, so yeah, that's the start of the mountain, it looks like. Let's see if we can get behind there. Over this way. We'll have to make some pathways. Oh, I thought that might have led to some someplace going down. Mm-hmm. Aha. Ooh. Oh, and it gives me the spooky sound right away. Aha. Carpet so it won't spawn, even though it's dark. That's great. So this is the start on the way up. Oh, wow. This looks great. And soon this will be filled in on the other side as well. Oh, that's awesome. There's a long meandering way of getting up to the top. Typort has done a lot of work. Yeah, this time of day, I think he is actually at work, which is why he's not here to show me around and tell me all the stuff he's done. So you can see, yeah, it's all going to be hollow. So it's kind of like Disneyland, where it's not going to be a real mountain. It's just going to be made out of plaster and hollow, hollow in the middle. Oh, but this looks great. So he said that the bottom area is where we want to have a dock area. And so I think that's some place that I am free to begin building on. So I might take a look at uh, what's possible from there. And eventually this will all be a buildable area, but he's going to have to figure out how he wants to terrain it. Did I just stutter there? How to terrain it. So it looks like he's starting a pathway of this is where he wants this water to be coming from. So this to the waterfall that goes down. And probably we'll need a large area of uh, water like a lake, depending on where his mountain comes to, if it comes all the way back here or how he designs that. Looks like he's already made kind of his uh, shape. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Or if he decides to curve it around here, who knows? Okay. Well, that was fun. Lots of work to be done. Let's go see if we can make it down to that dragon. I might have to ride the waterfall down to take a look and get closer. Uh-oh. Ah, splash. Ah, splash. Now, is there another secret way up here? I would assume there's something. Is this going to be like a boat? So around this will be wood? Or is it supposed to be... A boat of stone? I don't know. I don't know. But great job on the dragon. Whoops. Get, get me up. Get me up. That looks fantastic. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm going to go off and figure out what palette I want to be building with. And I will be back in a bit. So the first thing I wanted to do is I climbed all the way up here and I wanted to take a look at the overall area. And um, one of the things that I'm gonna have to do first is probably some terraforming. Um, let me put on my stuff so now I can point with my cursor. Especially these areas, that area right here, all needs to be dug out because it is not gonna go uh, well with um, putting in a port. Um, I might take a little bit of this out uh, just right through here and make it more curved. Um, and so one of the things that Ty Port and I were talking about is what kind of um, port that we're looking for. So I'm probably going to build stone walls, probably about four, three or four blocks tall along here um, that dip into the water line uh, is probably how it's going to look and all the way through here. And I probably will uh, veer off around here and then just allow this to go down to um, land level. And we might change that up into some sand uh, rather than the red sand. Um, I, I, it depends on how far we want to 
to terraform and landscape. I think this is going to have to come out as well. Um, so this big building. So that's a lot of terraforming to do to start with, and that's going to take a lot of time. The other thing I need to look at is what kind of blocks that I'm going to use. And I'm thinking of um, looking at stone along the wall with probably a combination of dark oak and spruce logs, and then the dark oak and spruce planks, and probably a little bit of the oak plank as well. And so I'll try to set some of that up. Oh, how's the sun? The sun's going down. Bye bye, sun. Um, I may have to stay up here through the night. It might not be safe to travel. Uh, anyway, so I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about having three or four different um, kind of standards for what buildings would be look would look like. So if it's going to be all wood, what would that look like and what kind of the accent blocks would we have? If it's going to be a mixture of stone and in some cases we're going to have a ton of terracotta. So we can use terracotta walls, um, clay walls in here as well. So I'm going to start working on probably figuring out what materials I want as my next step. So I put together some sample blocks of what it is, I guess sample pallets for the harbor. And this would be used mainly for the harbor wall, which would be, you know, any variant. So like cobble and all of the different blocks that cobbles come in, uh, the pretty much anything. If it's a gray stone block, we're gonna use it on the wall. I also incorporated, and just as a reminder, for the oak plank, the dark oak plank, oops, excuse me, the spruce plank, the dark oak plank, and the oak plank are the three planks that we will typically be using, and their logs as well, um, if appropriate. So that is what's going to happen on the harbor wall. And then these, this is just kind of sample palettes for the buildings to get an idea of what they're going to look like. Uh, again, utilizing both the dark oak, the spruce, and the oak um, and their subsequent planks, and then some of the terracotta that we have around. Now, I think most of the buildings will stay either with the white terracotta, the brown, or the uh, light gray, uh, but I did want to add some color just for some variation. And with the yellow, really the best thing that goes with it is the birch. Uh, trying to use the oak, it gets a little too dark and they are a little clashy. Uh, is that a word? I don't know. I made it up clashy so this looks better together and that's with the spruce and the birch and the yellow so i think i might do a couple of buildings that utilize those colors um and then um some of the others the light gray looks a little purplish so i think i don't think i'll use it heavily but we'll use it some uh, but mostly it's going to be these two right here are going to be uh the primary colors that you see uh, some of the buildings might be all um all wood. Some of the buildings might actually incorporate stone along the base, uh, depending on how how we put things together. The next thing I did is I put together kind of a sample of the wall. Now this isn't what a chunk of the wall is going to look like. It's just a little smattering of. Oh, here, I, I, I need to build up an area for me to stand on. There we go. Just some little ideas of what the wall will incorporate. So we're getting, we can use some smooth stone and this is about the height that I want it to be. Um, using some of the cobble or cobble brick uh, coming along here and how the water, it's gonna go below the water line. Like this is wrong. That should be a cobble, a piece of cobble. Um, so it's gonna go along the water line and then um, using the wood. So whatever I do, I want the darker color to be in the water and then a lighter color up top. Um, I definitely want some of these insets either where it's right up against one of these. Um, the nice thing about the uh, trap doors you'll see here is that they can be waterlogged. So the water will go all the way up to the trap door, uh, which is great. I think that was a 1.14 update. So that will look really nice. And we'll, so we'll have sections where um, it might just be these, uh, the trap doors, the spruce trap doors going up. And then this would be a little dock that leads out that might have a smaller boat attached to it. So some of these will be where larger boats will come up to. And again, we're gonna have to dig out all of this um, area so that it's more reasonable that things are coming up right against it. Uh, so this might even go down maybe two or three blocks farther down. So there's a lot of terraforming to do. So that's just kind of an idea. So you might have a little dock here with a stairways that comes back up to the top area. So that's kind of what I'm thinking and the palette that I'm looking at. Then I know this is going to be a really short episode because it's just kind of like, here's my ideas. Um, but I really don't know how they're going to pan out. And I've got a lot of grunt work to do 
which is kind of boring. Oh, but hey, we got to see the dragon. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. And it's loot. Mies wants the loot. Um, so yeah, this is Neighbors United. We need to get all the neighbors on. I'm recording when I know Typeport's at work. I'm not recording because I know Typeport's at work, but I know he's at work right now, and I'm recording it on. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get some time together, uh, and he can talk a little bit more about the work that he's doing. Uh, it's looking great. This is going to turn out great once it's all done. I can feel it. So I'm going to get busy, um, and that's going to take me some time. So I think I'm going to end this episode as a pretty short one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave it a like. And if you want, hit the notification bells and you'll find out when I've actually randomly put up an episode. So with that, I'll say, I'll see you next time.